The fifth thousand years. From the twenty-sixth year of Ehud's life to the second year of the reign of Cyrus. Jabin, who was dried up in body, ruled twenty years. Deborah and Barak ruled them forty years. The children of Israel were in subjection to the Midianites seven years, and God delivered them by the hands of Gideon, who ruled them forty years. Abimelech's son reigned after him three years. Tola, the son of Pua ruled them twenty-three years. Yair, the Giladite, twenty-two years. And again the children of Israel were in subjection to the Ammonites eighteen years, and God delivered them by the hand of Naphtah, Jephthah, the man who offered up his daughter as a sacrifice, and he ruled them six years. Abison, Ibzin of Bethlehem, who is Nashan, sick, ruled them seven years. Alon, Elan, who was from Zebulon, ruled them ten years. Abron, Abdon, the son of Hillel, the Parathonite, ruled them eight years. And the children of Israel were in subjection to the Philistines forty years, and God delivered them by the hand of Samson, and he ruled them twenty years. And the children of Israel lived without a governor for eighteen years, and then Eli the priest rose up and ruled them forty years. And Samuel rose up over them and ruled them twenty years. And in the days of Samuel the children of Israel provoked to wrath God, who had delivered them from the servitude of the Egyptians, and they made Saul, the son of Kish, king, and he reigned over them forty years. And in the days of Saul lived, Goliath, a giant of the Philistines. He came nigh and reviled Israel, and blasphemed against God, and David, the son of Jesse, killed him. And David was praised in songs by the daughters of Israel, and Saul persecuted him. And the Philistines slew Saul, because he forsook the Lord, and took refuge with the devils. David reigned over the children of Israel forty years, and Solomon, his son, reigned forty years. And Solomon did great and wonderful things, and it was he who sent to offer, and brought gold from the mountains of gold, and the ship sailed the sea for thirty-six months, and then came forth, i.e. returned. It was he who built Tadmor, Palmyra, in the wilderness, and he carried out their great and wonderful works. And when Solomon passed the borders of the mountain which is called Sar, he found there the altar which Peorzakar, and Peorzani, and Niznadher had built. These were they whom Nimrod, the giant, sent to Balaam, the priest of the mountain of Sar, because he heard that he was wont to consult the signs of the zodiac, and when they were passing the skirts of the mountain they built there an altar to the sun. And when Solomon saw it, he built a city there, and called its name Neapolis, more correctly, Heliopolis, that is to say, city of the sun. And Solomon also built Eridus, Arvid, in the midst of the sea, and he became so famous and renowned that the report of his wise acts went out into all the ends of the earth. And the queen of Sheba went to hold converse with him. And Solomon loved Hiram, king of Tyre, greatly. And Hiram reigned in Tyre five hundred years, from the days of the kingdom of David to the days of the kingdom of Zedekiah, and of all the kings of the children of Israel. And at length he forgot that he was a man, and he blasphemed and said, I am God, and I sit upon the throne of God in the middle of the sea. And Nebuchadnezzar the king killed him. The Purple Linen of Tyre. And in the days of Hiram the purple-colored apparel worn by kings first appeared. As a dog was running along the seashore at Tyre he saw a purple shellfish, i.e. the murex, coming up out of the water, and he bit it, and straightway his mouth was filled with the blood of that shellfish. And a certain shepherd who saw the dog brought a piece of woolen cloth and wiped the dog's mouth with it. And he made that piece of woolen cloth into a crown, i.e. a kaffir or head cloth, and set it upon his head, and as he walked along in the sun, those who saw him thought that rays of fire were coming forth from his head, and when Hiram heard of this he sent for the man. And when he saw the woolen cloth he marveled and was astonished. And all the dyers gathered together and marveled at it, and they set out to inquire into the matter and they found some of these shellfish and rejoiced greatly. The apostasy of Solomon. And Solomon waxed exceedingly great. And the food provided for his table every day consisted of forty oxen, one hundred head of sheep, thirty measures of fine flour, sixty measures of wheat, and three hundred measures of wine, and besides all this, stags, and gazelle, and wild antelopes, and other creatures of the desert. And he became froward and transgressed the law, and hearkened not to the commands of his father, and he took to wife one thousand women from all the peoples whom God hated. And in the time of his old age he gave himself up to women, and he let them play with him, and he hearkened to their words, and did their will. And he denied the God of David, his father. And he builded altars to devils, and offered up sacrifices to idols and graven images, and he worshipped the work of the hands, and God turned away his face from him and he died and he reigned in Jerusalem forty-six years. Rehoboam. And Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned after him. 
Rehoboam was 41 years old when he began to reign, and he polluted Jerusalem with fornication, and the altars of devils, and the stink of heathendom, and the kingdom of Israel was rent in twain. And in the fifth year of his kingdom Shishak, the king of Egypt, went up against Jerusalem. And he carried off all the treasure of the service of the house of the Lord, and all the treasure of the kingdom of David, and of that of Solomon, and the vessels of gold and the vessels of silver. And he magnified himself and said, I am not taking away treasure which is yours, but the wealth which your fathers took out of Egypt. And Rehoboam died in the heathen practices of his father Solomon. And Abijah his son reigned after him, and he destroyed Jerusalem with fornication, and with heathen works, now, Melchah, the mother of Absalom, was his mother, and he died in the heathen practices of his father. And Asa his son reigned after him for forty years in Jerusalem. He did that which was good before the Lord, and he put away fornication from Jerusalem, and made an end of the heathen practices of his people, for he kept the commandments of God. And he drove them, i.e. the idolaters, out of his palace, or kingdom, and made them to be a mockery before all the people, because they taught the offering of sacrifices to idols. And Zerah of Judah went up against him, and God humbled him before Asa. And Asa died in righteousness like his father David. And Jehoshaphat his son reigned after him, and he walked in the ways of Asa his father, and he did that which was pleasing before God. And God was angry with him, because he was a friend of the house of Ahab, and for this reason God did not permit him to bring out gold from Ophir. Now he made ships to send thither, and they were broken at Easy and Jeber. He was thirty-two years old when he began to reign, and the name of his mother was Azubah the daughter of Shalah. And Jehoshaphat died in his righteousness. Joram reigned after him, and he was thirty-two years old when he began to reign, he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. He did not do what was pleasing before God, for he sacrificed at the altar of devils, and he died in his heathen practices. Ahaziah his son reigned after him, and he was twenty-two years old when he began to reign, he lived for one year in Jerusalem and did evil things before God in that year. Because of the wickedness and iniquity which he wrought, God delivered him into the hands of his enemies, and they killed him. When he was dead his mother Athaliah killed all the royal children of the house of David, imagining that she would uproot the children of the Jews. The only person of the seat of the royal house whom she did not slay was Josh, whom Yashba, Jehosheba, the daughter of Joram, the son of Jehoshaphat, carried away secretly and hid with her in her house. Reign of Ahab's sister. And the sister of Ahab reigned seven years in Jerusalem. And she polluted the city with fornication, for she commanded the women to play the whore without fear, and the men to commit adultery with the wives of their neighbors without incurring any penalty. And she herself committed fornication like Jezebel, and she adopted all the heathen practices of the house of Ahab in Jerusalem. Reign of Josh. And after seven years the children of Jerusalem considered whom they should make their king, and Jehoiada the priest gathered them together in the house of the Lord, in the temple which Solomon had built. And when the captains of thousands and the captains of hundreds had gathered together, Jehoiada the priest said unto them, Whom say ye shall be king and sit upon the throne of David except he be a king and the son of a king? And when he showed him to them they rejoiced with an exceedingly great joy. And the captains of thousands, and the captains of hundreds, and the runners, and the messengers, brought the kingdom to the house of the Lord, and the soldiers who were armed surrounded him on all sides, and Jehoiada the priest set him, i.e. Josh, upon the throne of David his father. And Josh was seven years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in Jerusalem. And the name of his mother was Zibiah, and she was from Beersheba. And Athaliah the mother of Ahaziah was killed. And Josh requited with evil the kindness which Jehoiada had done him, and after his death, he shed the innocent blood of his sons. And Josh died, and Amaziah his son reigned after him. Amaziah was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty-nine years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was, Jodan. And Amaziah died, and Isaiah his son reigned after him. Isaiah was sixteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty, sick, years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was, Jechalia and he did that which was good before the Lord. Now, he made bold to go into the Holy of Holies, and he took the censer from the priest of God, Azariah, and burned incense in the temple of the Lord, and because he did this leprosy covered his face. And because Isaiah the prophet did not rebuke him, he was prevented from prophesying until Isaiah died. And Jotham his son reigned in his stead. Jotham was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And the name of his mother was, Jerusa, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was good before the Lord, and he died and Ahaz his son reigned after him. 
Ahaz a vassal of the king of Assyria. Ahaz was twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Aphin, the daughter of Levi. And he did that which was evil before the Lord, and he sacrificed to devils. tiglath pileser the king of Assyria, went up against him, and Ahaz rode himself down in his letter as his servant, and the Assyrian held him in subjection. And Ahaz sent to the king of Assyria the gold and silver which were in the house of the Lord, and in his days the children of Israel were carried off into captivity. And the king sent for the men who had come from Babel, so that they might dwell in the land instead of the children of Israel, because they could kill the lions. And the king of Assyria sent to the Mori the priest, and he taught them the laws. And Ahaz died and Hezekiah his son reigned after him. Hezekiah. Hezekiah was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty-nine years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Abai the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was pleasing before the Lord, for he smashed the altars, and he cut in pieces the serpent of brass which Moses made in the wilderness, because the children of Israel used to worship it, and he abolished heathen practices in Jerusalem. In the fourth year of his reign, Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up and carried away captive the rest of the children of Israel, and he sent them into Media, beyond Babel. And in the twentieth year of Hezekiah, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up and took all the cities and towns of Judah, but through the prayer of Hezekiah Jerusalem was saved. And Hezekiah became sick unto death, and it was grievous unto him, and he wept. And there were certain men who blamed him, but why his sickness was grievous unto him, they never troubled to acquaint themselves. Now the sorrow of Hezekiah came upon him, because when he became sick unto death he had no son to reign after him. And when he looked with the eyes of his soul and saw that he had no son to reign after him, he was afflicted, and wept and said, Woe is me, for I must die childless, and that blessing which hath been given unto us for six and forty generations hath been cut off by me this day. I have become the destroyer of the kingdom of David, and the succession of the kings of Judah hath been cut off this day. This was the cause of the sorrow of Hezekiah. And after he recovered from his sickness he waited fourteen years, and then Manasseh was born to him. And Hezekiah died in great content, and left a son, to sit upon the throne of David his father. Manasseh. Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-five years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Hephzibah. He was a man who was more evil and iniquitous than all those who had lived before him, he builded altars to devils and sacrificed to idols, and he filled Jerusalem with iniquity and provoked God to wrath. And because Isaiah the prophet rebuked him, he threatened him and sent men who were sons of iniquity, and they sawed Isaiah the prophet in twain with a saw between two pieces of wood, from his head downwards to his feet. And Isaiah was one hundred and twenty years old when they sawed him in twain, and he had been the prophet of God for ninety years. And Manasseh repented after he had slain Isaiah, and he put sackcloth on his body, and decreed fasting for himself, and he ate bread with tears all the days of his life, because he had committed iniquity, and had slain the prophet. And Manasseh died, and Ammon reigned after him. Ammon was twenty-two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned two years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Mashlamath. And Ammon did evil before the Lord, and he made his sons to pass through fire, he died, and Josiah his son reigned after him. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned thirty-one years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Jedida, the daughter of Azariah, Adajah from Bezkath. And he did what was good before the Lord, and he walked in all the way wherein his father David had walked, and he turned aside neither to the right hand nor to the left. And Pharaoh, the lame, i.e. Necho the second, killed him, and Jehoahaz his son reigned after him. Jehoahaz was twenty-three years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Hampel, the daughter of Jeremiah from Lebna. And he did what was evil before the Lord, even as Manasseh had done. And Pharaoh, the lame, king of Egypt, took him prisoner in Diblath, in the land of Hamath, whilst he was king in Jerusalem, and he laid tribute on the land, one hundred talents of silver and ten talents of gold. And Pharaoh, the lame, made Eliakim, the son of Jonah, king instead of Josiah his father, and he made his name to be Jehoiakim. And he carried away Jehoahaz, and he went to Egypt and died there. And Jehoiakim gave silver and gold to Pharaoh, he laid the payment of silver and gold on the land according to the word, i.e. command, of Pharaoh's mouth. Every man, according to what it was right for him to pay, brought silver and gold from the people of the land, according to the command of the mouth of Pharaoh, the lame. Jehoiakim was twenty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, 
And the name of his mother was Zabhita, the daughter of Padiah, from Ramah. And he did that which was evil before the Lord, even as his fathers had done. In his days Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, went up against Jerusalem, and Jehoiakim became his vassal for three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him, and the Lord stirred up bands of robbers against him because of his sins. And Jehoiakim slept with his fathers, and Jehoiachin his son reigned after him. And the king of Egypt did not come forth again out of his country, for the king of Babel captured all the land that belonged to the king of Egypt, from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. Jehoiachin was eighteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Neheshta, the daughter of Elnathan from Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil before the Lord, even as his father had done. At that time Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, went up against Jerusalem, and the king of Babel took him with him in the eighth year of his kingdom. And he brought out from there all the treasure of the house of the Lord, and the treasure of the king's house, and he carried off into captivity to Babel all the people of Jerusalem, and Jehoiachin, and his mother, and his wives, and his nobles, and the king brought captive to Babel all the men who had made war. And the king of Babel made Methaniah, the uncle of Jehoiachin king in his stead, and he called his name, Zedekiah. The Capture of Jerusalem. Zedekiah was twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and the name of his mother was Hamtel, the daughter of Jeremiah, from Libna. And he did that which was evil before the Lord, even as did Jehoiakim, and the wrath of the Lord was, i.e. fell upon, Jerusalem. And Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babel, and in the ninth year of his kingdom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, came against Jerusalem, and the city was fettered with affliction, i.e. besieged, until the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And the city was rent open, i.e. its wall was breached, and all the mighty men of war fled from the city by night by way of the plain. And the soldiers of the Chaldeans pursued the king, and they overtook him on the plain of Jericho, and all his soldiers were driven away from him, and the Chaldeans captured Zedekiah and took him up to the king of Babel at Deblath, Riblah, and he passed judgment upon him. And the king of Babel slew the sons of Zedekiah the king before his eyes, and he blinded the eyes of Zedekiah, and bound him in chains, and carried him to Babel. And Simeon the high priest, because he had freedom of speech with the commander of the Chaldean army, made entreaty to him, and the commander of the army gave him all the books of the scriptures, and did not burn them, and Simeon the high priest gathered them together and cast them into a pit, or dry well. And Jerusalem was laid waste and made desolate, and no man remained therein except Jeremiah, the prophet, who sat and raised lamentations over it for twenty years. And Jeremiah, the prophet, died in Samaria, and the priester buried him in Jerusalem, according to the oath which the prophet made him to swear. Now up to the time of the destruction of Jerusalem the Hebrew, Greek, and Syrian writers were in possession of the truth, and they were able to produce the registers of the genealogies of the tribes and the people. But from the destruction of Jerusalem and onwards, there has been no truth in their writings, except as regards the heads of the tribes, i.e. the patriarchs, and they are unable to prove whence the succession of the priests took its origin. Jehoiachin. And Jehoiachin was bound in prison for thirty-seven years, and after he came forth from prison, he took to wife Guleth, the daughter of Eliakim, and he begot by her in Babel Shalathiel, Salathiel, and Jehoiachin died in Babel. And Salathiel took to wife Hetbath, the daughter of Halkana, and he begot by her, Zerubbabel, who took to wife Malkath, the daughter of Ezra the scribe, but no son was born to him by her in Babel. In the days of Zerubbabel, the prince of Judah, Cyrus the Persian reigned in Babel. Cyrus. And Cyrus took to wife the daughter of Salathiel, the sister of Zerubbabel, and he took her to wife according to the law of the Persians, and made her his queen. And she entreated Cyrus to bring about the return of the children of Israel to Jerusalem. And inasmuch as Zerubbabel was her brother, she was very insistent about the return to Jerusalem of those who had been led away into captivity. Now Cyrus loved his wife as he loved himself, and he did for her what she wished. And he sent forth heralds into all the land of Babel, ordering all the children of Israel to gather themselves together. And when they were gathered together Cyrus said unto Zerubbabel, his wife's brother, Rise up, and take with thee all the children of thy people, and go up to Jerusalem in peace, and rebuild the city of thy fathers, and dwell and reign therein. And because Cyrus brought about the return of the children of Israel to Jerusalem, God said, I have taken my servant Cyrus by his right hand, and the name of Cyrus was called my shepherd, the anointed of the Lord, because his seed was received into the seed of David through Meshayanath, the sister of Zerubbabel, whom he had taken to wife. 
And the children of Israel went up from Babel, and Zerubbabel became king over them, and Joshua, the son of Yazadak, the son of Aaron, was high priest, even as the angel showed Zechariah the prophet, and said unto him, These are the sons of the oil of consecration. And the people of the captivity went up in the second year of Cyrus, and the fifth thousand years came to an end.